<laughs> Here we go. Which one of these is not true? Mary Lou was a, is it A, beauty pageant competitor, B, natural disaster refugee, C, home interior decorator, D, host and producer at age 12, and go. All right. Yes. Okay. The song is so, great. Right. Thank you. Right. We love that song. We love that's, that song. Yeah. That's yeah. always like, yes. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we gotta do it. We're like bouncing okay. behind the scenes, behind the scenes. And all that so stuff. Mary Lou, we have we have a winner, but Mary Lou, we're gonna let you, we're gonna let you. If you want to go back to the other scene, let me know, and we're gonna let you answer which one was not true. Which one I'm not true? Yeah, I was not a home interior decorator. <laughs> straight, even though you could be because of your <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I could, and, and so like, there's a technicality with that, right? Because we didn't discuss this. My mom did home interior decorating, and I did assist her when I was little, but I ha- I've not been paid as a home interior decorator. So, right, you, true, you, <laughs> but ish. True ish. So the winner is. Vincent, hi, congratulations. So let's just show you a couple of pictures, right? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's take a couple of pictures of Mary Lou. So let's go ahead and bring it up for, because Mary Lou goes like, here you go. Here yeah, you go. so uh, this is from being a natural disaster refugee. When I was eight, uh, I was in the Philippines with my family and Mount Pinatubo struck. This is 1991. And uh, yeah, we were displaced. So I slept in the movie theater floors, gymnasium floors. We were in Guam. We were in Hawaii. We were uh, just like wherever they could put us. So this is actually a picture that was in a newspaper. And this is how my dad knew that we were okay because he was sent out on a, like a, I think they called it TDY. Like he was on a, a job in Okinawa at the time. He was in the Air Force. So he's sent out of the country of the Philippines. And then this natural disaster happens. He can't come back in because everything's a mess. We're getting shipped out. There's no communication because there was no like cell phones. There's no internet. Like you can't check on somebody. You're just like, hope that they're okay. And he was looking at a newspaper and they took this picture of us and put it in the newspaper. So he took this clipping uh, and that's how he knew that we were, we made it out. Mm. Uh, And we're here. These are like people donated clothes because we had to leave with like nothing, right? There was like, we had a baby bag. My sister was one years old um, and we just, you know, took what you could grab and then you go. So people donated stuff that we could like, you know, use until Mm -hmm. we got to, uh, eventually, we ended up in Maryland because that's where my uncle lived, and then we were okay. But it's just like you know, you're displaced. I was on a, I got to ride on a helicopter. I got to go on a battleship. You know, it was like really exciting stuff for like an eight year old, right? <laughs> it was like, but you know what? It is awesome. These are the things about um, about the newspaper, right? And about the news. And mm-hmm. now, imagine that. Now that would just go even faster because of the mm-hmm. internet. So there are some mm-hmm. good you know, things about the internet and social media that probably would at that point, you know, works better, but we're glad that everything is good. We're glad that your dad saw that and, and you probably were so happy to see him again when you finally got reunited. Mm-hmm. So, yes. yeah. Oh my gosh. I cried. I cried so hard. Of course. Of course. And there, and that, that was it. So that was true. But then Mary Lou continued with her adventures and what did she do? What did she do? Let's continue yeah. with Mary Lou where she did. Let's take a look. Boom. <laughs> Bam. So this was when I competed in the Miss California USA pageant. And uh, I had done some little pageants when I was like a, a kid. I did one when I was like little and one when I was in high school at my my mom's request. And I was like, yeah, whatever. I like to perform. Sure. <laughs> uh, and then this one came up and this was like for the Miss USA track. So if you have won Miss California, then you get to go compete in Miss USA, which then goes on to compete for Miss Universe. And I had just 
never done it. And the whenever this came up and I was talking to the recruiter, they they found me on a casting website and they're like, if you want to do this, it's the last year you could do it because I was going to age out. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let's do it. And it was great. I had a great time. And like, did I not understand like really what was going on in pageant world? Because like those those gals, like the ones who make it to the top 10 have been doing it like every year since they were like nine, like mm. they are professional competitors. And I'm just there like a tourist. And I was like, Ooh, <laughs> this is cool. You know, like my mom wanted me to do this. So I'm here. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. But you know but what? But it was really great because like I was a roommate with a, like you get paired up at random with the roommates, like alphabetical by your sash name, whatever. Okay. And she actually won the Miss California. And it was so great because I got to kind of experience like the top level experience, but like vicariously through her because right. like, we became friends. And she's like, oh, come like, look at this. Look at this. And I was like, what? <laughs> you guys <are> dedicated. <laughs> like, this is what happens here. But you know, I'm eating a cupcake. And, like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? I'm like, <laughs> was I not <laughs> supposed to? <laughs> And why is it here for then if I'm not supposed to eat it? <laughs> but you know what? This is what's cool about having our own story, right? Like you have, that's your story. That's your background. That's how you can relate to other things. How your your reels are so, so like almost kind of like, this is me and I don't care. I mean, like almost like I don't care. I'm just going to show who I am because obviously now understanding more of what you went through is like, yo, like I'm happy to be here, you know, like I'm so good for you. Good for you. I, yeah. I, now I, I like you even more. Like, honestly, I like you even more. 